Dear students, today we will discuss a very important topic that is digestion of carbohydrates. It is a common topic for, for all BSc students and all competitive exams. Dear students, today's lecture digestion of carbohydrates. Pyaare bacho, jitne bhi humne notes banaye, un sab ki PDF file humne video lecture uske description mein upload kar diye. Sabhi bache apne notes download kar le. Dear students, in today's lecture, we will cover digestion of carbohydrates. Generally, simple sugars like glucose and fructose remain undigested and these are directly absorbed and these are metabolized in our body. But all disaccharides like sucrose, maltose, lactose and all polysaccharides like starch, glycogen. These complex carbohydrates are simplified into monosaccharides. And the digestion of these carbohydrates means their glycosidic bonds are hydrolyzed by a group of enzymes. And these enzymes are named carbohydrases. Or oh dear students, these are named glycosidases digestion of carbohydrates that starts in our oral cavity buccal cavity digestion of carbohydrates in our buccal cavity as in our buccal cavity we know three pairs of salivary glands are present we have already discussed all these three pairs of salivary glands a pair of parotid glands a pair of sublingual glands and a pair of submaxillary, submandibular glands. And these salivary glands secrete saliva that contains salivary amylase, alpha amylase, or tylene enzyme that involves in the digestion of starch and glycogen. Dear students, saliva also contains water and mucus, which involve in the lubrication of food. And saliva also contains lysozyme, antibacterial enzyme, and some electrolytes like sodium, potassium, chloride, and bicarbonate salts involved in the maintenance of pH. As well as very important point, very important point, note down all competitive exams. The students, the saliva contains thiocyanate ions and these are antimicrobial ions as we know saliva contains slivery amylase alpha amylase or tylene that tylene enzyme acts in presence of chloride ions at an optimum pH that is 6.8 and this enzyme acts upon starch and glycogen on complex polysaccharides and converts the starch or glycogen into disaccharide units. Maltose, isomaltose, limited dextrin. These all are disaccharides. Means these polysaccharides, starch and glycogen are converted into double sugars, disaccharides, maltose, isomaltose, limited dextrin. These are disaccharides. About 30 to 40 percent of starch that gets hydrolyzed, that is digested by this salivary amylase in our aura, mouth, buccal cavity. How many kabachu dear students? About 30 to 40 percent of starch that gets digested in our aura cavity. Saliva of many herbivores, herbivorous animals like cows, buffaloes, and some carnivorous mammals like lion, tigers. There is no saliva doesn't contain amylase enzyme, means no starch digestion. In case of herbivores like cows, buffaloes, and some carnivores like lion, tigers. 
no dilution of starch because no slavery amylase dilution of carbohydrates in stomach dear students carbohydrate dilution in stomach in gastric juice generally no amylase no enzyme for the dilution of carbohydrates but the action of slavery amylase that remains continue in our pharynx in our food pipe esophagus as well as in stomach but in our stomach the secretion of hcl hydrochloric acid that stops the action of slavery amylase within 30 minutes it means slavery amylase remains functional in our pharynx in our food pipe as well as in our stomach up to 30 minutes after 30 minutes the gastric juice hcl it destroys it stops the action of slavery amylase and this hcl of gastric juice causes acidification of food it means in our stomach the food becomes highly acidic and that acidic food is all students note down this point that acidic food is chyme c h y m e now this digested food from stomach is passed into small intestine digestion of carbohydrates in small intestine in small intestine and in our small intestine three types of juice meet with the acidic food and that acidic food is chyme it means in our small intestine three types of juice the liver juice that is bile the pancreatic juice that is from pancreas pancreatic juice and small intestinal glands secrete intestinal juice it means three types of juice meet with the acidic food chyme bile from liver pancreatic juice from pancreas and intestinal glands from the lining of small intestine the role of role of bile means the role of liver juice bile as we know in bile there is no enzyme for the digestion of carbohydrates but note down note down all need students all competitive exam students but bile contains bile salts particularly sodium bicarbonate and these salts these sodium bicarbonates of bile convert the acidic food into alkaline food means the chyme is converted into chyle not down the spelling c h y l e the acidic food that is chyme c h y m e but now the food becomes alkaline it is caused by the bile salts the liver the salts sodium bicarbonate particularly sodium tocolate sodium glycocolate bile salts bicarbonate that involves in the conversion of acidic food chyme into chyle role of pancreatic juice humne kaha bachcho in small intestine three types of juice the role of pancreatic juice and this pancreatic juice contains the strongest pancreatic amylase the strongest amylase because it involves more than 50% digestion of starch हमने कहा बच्चों पैनक्रेटिक अमाइलेज और दिस पैनक्रेटिक अमाइलेज इज आल्सो नेम्ड कंपटीशन स्टूडेंट्स इट इज अमाइलोपसिन एंड दैट अमाइलोपसिन एक्ट्स अपॉन एल्कलाइन फूड काइल एट ए स्पेसिफिक पीएच दैट इज 8.8 एंड दिस पैनक्रेटिक अमाइलेज अमाइलोपसिन कन्वर्ट्स दिस स्टार्च more than 50% starch that gets hydrolyzed into maltose isomaltose and dextrin 
role of intestinal juice as we know intestinal juice that is also named neat students competition student that is sacus and tricus about 2 to 3 liters of sacus and tricus secretes per day in our small intestine and this intestinal juice that contains several carbohydrate digestive enzymes like maltase like isomaltase lactase sucrase dextrinase all these enzymes act as maltose that is a double sugar and this double sugar is converted into glucose units by this maltase enzyme isomaltose again a double sugar and this disaccharide in presence of this isomaltase it changes into glucose units the alpha dextrin or it is limit dextrin that is again a disaccharide double sugar in presence of this limit dextrin H enzyme which is produced by small intestinal glands and converts into glucose simple units sucrose that is a cane sugar and this double sugar sucrose in presence of this sucrase enzyme or dear students no doubt in presence of this sucrase or invertase sucrase or invertase this sucrose double sugar is changed into glucose and fructose and this lactose which is milk sugar and this double sugar milk sugar in presence of this lactase enzyme or beta galactosidase converts into two units of simple sugars glucose and galactose another very important point another very important point for all exams all exams bsc and competition students lactose intolerance in man dear student note down the point lactose intolerance in man lactose that is a milk sugar the adult man, the only mammal, the only mammal which digests lactose milk sugar at adult stage. How many guys? In adult stages, the only man, only mammal which can digest lactose. But as age advances, the secretion of lactase enzyme, in case of our body, in case of human beings, this lactase enzyme secretion decreases as a result dear students as a result the lactose the milk sugar in our body in our gut that remains undigested and this undigested lactose it gets fermented as a result as a result so many gases are produced like hydrogen like co2 and methane gas and these gases create problem like flatulence like cramps in our intestine and diarrhea that is named lactose intolerance in man kya kaam as is as is, is advances then lactase secretion decreases and that leads lactose intolerance abnormal fermentation of lactose in such persons in which lactose intolerance appears such persons are advised to consume a semi solid milk clotted casein clotting of means curd or yogurt milk is provided means already fermented milk is provided in which lactose gets fermented into lactic acid another important point all students all students competitive exam students digestion of cellulose in case of man in our gut cellulose remains undigested and this cellulose in our body it acts as a roughage 
dear students no down generally cellulose gets digested by microbial action symbiotically as in case of as in case of ruminating mammals like cows like buffaloes like goats like sheep in their stomach some bacteria symbiotic microbes bacteria some ciliates protozoan protist which secrete cellulose enzyme and cellulose is digested by symbiotic microbial action and in some non ruminating mammals not down no down like rabbit like horse these symbiotic microbes are found not in stomach in their cecum that is a part of large intestine and here these microbes these bacteria these ciliates these protozoan protist these symbiotic microbes they secrete cellulose and that cellulose involves in the digestion of cellulose as a result the cellulose is converted into short fatty acids chain like acetic acid like butyric acid like propionic acid and another very important point in case of non ruminants non ruminants no regurgitation as in case of rabbit in case of rat the cellulose remains undigested it means these non ruminating mammals like rabbit that partially digested cellulose that is ingested that is passed out through fecal matter and these mammals particularly rabbit no down competition student the rabbit consumes early in the morning consumes its fecal matter for its complete digestion of cellulose for that purpose these mammals pass their food twice through their gut dear students kya kaam hai bachcho the rabbit they consume their fecal matter for the complete digestion of cellulose they pass their food twice through their gut this process is this process is coprophagy this process is refaction or dear students this process is for all competitive exams this process is pseudo rumination and in some in some cases like in termites in their gut in their intestine some flagellates symbiotically associate like trichonympha it is a protozoan protist trichonympha and this trichonympha secretes beta galactosidase that involves symbiotically to digest their cellulose very bachcho very important topic humne cover kiya hai digestion of starch in tomorrow's lecture very important lecture digestion of proteins thank you